Hello. Hello, teacher. Good, good evening. Hello, Carla. Good evening. How are you today? <coughs> good. Good. How was your weekend? Very, eso, por very good. Very good. Nice. <coughs> nice to hear that. Did you study? Yes. Little. <laughs> ah, but, but it's something. <laughs> <laughs> a little okay. as yes. the purpose that's fine thank you so much for that and what about the rest of you how are you Roxana? um i was working oh on the weekend yes <laughs> um well we need money <laughs> i'm right. planning my my wedding oh really wow congratulations thank oh, you nice <laughs> and the rest <laughs> of you Kasha, how are you uh your microphone your microphone is off fine fine uh, finish work mm -hmm. Okay, and what about the weekend? Um, every, every day, every day. Okay, fine. Jaime, how are you doing? Hi, good, and you? Perfect. How was the weekend? How was the weekend? Victor, how are you today, Victor? How are you today, Victor? <laughs> oh, you still with problems with the audio. Okay. Uh, sorry. Um, Ryland, how are you today? Very good, teacher. Today. Perfect. Okay. What about you, Diego? How are you? Fine. 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 Okay. Very nice. Well, did you remember the last topic that we studied? Yeah. What was the last topic? Parts of the house. Part of the Do you house. remember the parts of the house that we studied? Uh, first, first floor, second floor. First floor, second floor. Uh huh. Yard. The yard. What else do you remember? Um, living room. Living room. Bedroom. 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 bedroom, bedroom, bedroom bed. Garage. Garage. Kitchen. A kitchen. Dining room. In the Dining apartment room. Is, the, is the lobby. Lobby. Okay. Backyard. 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 Restroom. Restroom. Excellent. Okay. I see you have your good memory. Well, let us continue. Uh, let me share the material that we have from the platform. Uh, this is what we studied in the last class, right? And this is the topic. Does it have a view? That's a question. Can you repeat the question? Does it have a view? Yes. Does it have a view? Very good. Um, what is view? What does it mean? View? Vista. Como observar. Vista? Yeah, vista. Yeah, vista. Uh -huh. Does it have a view? That is the question. Si tiene una vista. Right? That is the question. No. Well, in the platform, you see this conversation. Okay, this is what you have. Uh, so you can see here, let me put this, this down. Okay. Uh, so you can see we have, a, oh, in this conversation, we have two. Person, they are speaking. They are speaking. Uh, 
Uh, what do you think? Is she happy? Happy? Oh, no. Oh, no. It's sad. It's sad. It's sad. It's sad. It's sad. It's sad. Uh -huh. She looks very sad. Uh, she has some boxes here. We thinking. can see some boxes. She's thinking. Uh -huh. We have some boxes here. This one said living room and this one is living room too. Probably she has just moved, right? Okay. Mm, let's listen to the conversation to see uh, to discover what's going Page on. Page 44, exercise two, conversation. My new apartment. Can you listen the, the recording? Yes. Okay. Let's read the conversation. Listen and practice. Guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What's it like? It's really nice. Is it very big? Well, it has a big living room, a bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Nice. Do you live downtown? No, I don't. I live near the university. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. <laughs> okay. Uh, did you find your vocabulary here? What is the meaning great? Great. Great. Genial. Great. It, it's like genial. Uh -huh. Genial. Genial. Oh. Another question? What's the right. meaning near? Near. Well, near, this cerca. is cerca. Cerca. Uh -huh. cerca. Oh, okay. Cerca de la universidad, near, near the university. Uh, okay, please. Another question? Yo creo que sí porque le oímos. Building. 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 Ah, building. Building es edificio. Ajá. Un edificio o una construcción. That is building. Ah, yo tengo una vista genial de otro apartamento. Downtown es como el centro de la ciudad. Downtown. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. Downtown yes, yes. es el centro. Downtown es el centro. Uh -huh. So, uh, the, as you can see, it's not a very fantastic view. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And in what is the meaning business? Bus, bus, Business. Ah, yeah. Business. Aquí en la conversación. No. Negocio. No. But business es negocios. Uh -huh. Negocios. <coughs> okay. Um. Let's. I'm going to play the recording one more time so you can listen for pronunciation and then we're going to practice, okay? I'm going to play it and listen and if you want, you can repeat as you listen. Page 44, exercise two, conversation. My new apartment. Listen and practice. Guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What's it like? It's really nice. Is it very big? Well, it has a big living room, a bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Nice. Do you live downtown? No, I don't. I live near the university. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Okay. Do I have volunteers to practice the conversation? Volunteers? Okay. And see the hands. Thank you. Roilan? Okay, two volunteers. Vaya, 
¿Quién empieza que sea Linda? Y yo le contesto como Chris. Linda, Abigail. Roxana. Veo, Roxana levantó la manita. Ok, Roxana es Linda and Freyland is, is going to practice as Luis. Chris, ajá. Uh -huh. Roxana. That's great. What? Like, it's really nice. It's very quick. It it's is. really nice? Okay, um, Roxana? It's really nice. Hello? Is it very big? Oh, well, okay. uh, let's uh, start again. Um, let's listen to Roxana and Freilan. Yes? Empecemos. Yes, okay. start again, please. Uh, guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What's, la what's it like? It's really nice. Very big. Well, it, it, it has a big living room, a bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Nice. Do you live downtown? No, I don't. I live near the university. How about you? Uh, yes. Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment. Uh, building. building. Building, excellent, very good, nice try, nice. Thank you. Do I have another two volunteers? Two more? <laughs> Carla and Abigail. You can start, Carla, and Abigail, you continue as Chris. Guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What's like? It's like. It's really nice. Is it very no. big? Well, it has a big living room, a bathroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Nice. Do you live downtown? No, I don't. I live near the university. Does it have a view? Yes, I does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Okay, very nice. Nice nice pronunciation. You're doing great. Yes, only this part. Yes, it has. It's like but yes, it's it a good job. Very good. Okay, the last two. Last two. The last two? Another two. Jaime and Adonai. Okay, Jaime and Adonai. You can start, Jaime. <clears throat> okay. Yes, that. I have a new apartment. That's great. What's it like? really nice it's very big is it very big is it very big a living room a bedroom a bathroom and Hello. a kitchen Hello. nice do you live downtown no i don't i live near university does it have a view View? Yes, that. It has a great view of the another part of the building. Okay, very oh, good. Very you good. just need more confidence, more confidence. Solo necesitan más confianza. <laughs> but it's good. Very good. Well done. Okay, we have another two. Tenía otros dos por ahí. Felipe and Dan San. You can start, Felipe. Star Felipe or I? Felipe? Ahorita, ahorita. Guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What it's like? It's really nice. 
it is very big? Well, it has a big living room, a bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Nice. Do you live downtown? No, I don't. I live near <clears throat> the university. That, does it have a view? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. It has a great, a great view of another apartment building. Okay, very nice. Nice pronunciation, nice job. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, uh, let's continue with the next part here. For the next part we have, it says page 46. <clears throat> Oh, okay, let's listen to the grammar focus and then I'll explain. Page 45, exercise 3, grammar focus. Simple present short answers. Do you live in an apartment? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Do the bedrooms have windows? Yes, they do. No, they don't. Does Chris live no, in a house? They don't. Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Does the house have a yard? Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Okay. As you can see, it's a simple present short answer. Esto, so, how many types of questions do we have in English? ¿Cuántos tipos de preguntas hay en inglés? Um, yes or not? Yes or not questions? Uh huh. Yes or not questions? Okay, in this case, we are um, practicing with the yes, no questions. En esta ocasión estamos practicando con los que se llaman yes, no questions. En todos los tiempos en inglés existen dos tipos de preguntas, las que se llaman yes, no questions y las que son information questions. Quiere decir que a la primera, a las yes no questions, podemos responder con yes o no. A las de information questions o WH information questions, esas no se pueden responder con un sí o con un no. Tiene que dar información. En presente simple, en el presente simple, con um, las yes no questions eh, empiezan con el auxiliar do. Para las personas, you, they, and we. También para I. Do I, do you, do they, do we. Para la tercera persona singular se usa el auxiliar does. Después del auxiliar se va a utilizar el sujeto. Luego del sujeto, un verbo. Luego el complemento y finalmente el signo de pregunta. Right? Por ejemplo, aquí uh, la pregunta dice, do you want to be a pilot? Yes, I do. O, no, I don't. The answer. Do they want to be a pilot? Yes, they do. Or, no, they don't. Do we want to be pilot? Yes, we do. No, we don't, right? It's short answers. Does he, para la persona tercera singular, he, she, it, vamos a usar does. Y el mismo en la respuesta. Does he want to be a pilot? Yes, he does. Or no, he doesn't. Does she want to be a pilot? Yes, she does. Or no, she doesn't. Does it want to be a pilot? Yes, it does. Or no, it doesn't. 
That is just to um, to get like the the structure, like the formula, right? So let's make a, another exercise. Uh, decíamos que el presente simple eh, eh, es para preguntar sobre hechos, hábitos. Ah, que ando uno yo. Okay. So, if we want to make yes no questions, tendríamos que um, siempre el auxiliar primero, do o does. Uh, por ejemplo, ¿cómo le preguntaríamos a alguien? Eh, si su casa, quiero saber si su casa tiene um, um, un jardín trasero. Does your house have a backyard? Do you have? Does, ajá, porque como voy a preguntar acerca de la casa. Y la casa, la casa, tu casa es el... Este es el sujeto. Does your have, house have, have, have yes. uh, a jar of a jar? Uh -huh. Se fijan, aquí está como lo habíamos dicho. Primero el auxiliar. En este caso, does, porque el sujeto es la casa, tu casa. Does you your have, house. No, have a house. No. Sujeto. No lo vamos a cantar. Hola. Una cosa. Estas flores son de agua. Es una cosa. Sí. No es jarro. Voy a silenciar porque hoy con unos niños por ahí. Ok. Ahora, no sé, ¿quién estaba preguntando? Habilita su micrófono y me repita la pregunta. En vez de have, pensé que era has porque se refería al, al patio, al patio trasero. ¿verdad? Ok. Atrás. Importante la pregunta, les voy a explicar. Has, not this only for people? Eh, no, no, no. Da okay. esto también por cosas, es pero... Es, un, es que está el auxiliar, por eso el, el verbo es have. Sí, teacher, es el auxiliar que va y entonces está bien. Uh -huh. es, es, es como decirle, my, Ajá. como que diga, um, her house, Ted has, has a new house, yes. la casa de Ted's, Ted's house, has a yard. Estoy haciendo una oración afirmativa, ¿verdad? Sí. Estoy haciendo una afirmación que en la casa de tío, o Ted's house, has a yard. Esa casa tiene un, un jardín. Como me estoy refiriendo a la, a la casa de él, so it has. Y la haría negativa, negativa, para hacer esta oración negativa, ¿qué le voy a agregar? Das. Dasen. Das. 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 Y le voy a quitar el, el, el le voy a dejar el verbo en su have. forma simple. ¿Por qué? Estoy utilizando el auxiliar de tercera persona. Por lo tanto, ya no necesito modificar el verbo. El verbo se mantiene en su forma simple. Cuando estoy haciendo preguntas y oraciones negativas, el verbo solo cambia, solo cambia cuando, cuando estoy haciendo oraciones afirmativas en tercera persona. Cuando hablo de él, de ella o de cosas. Por eso en la pregunta vamos a mantener los verbos en forma simple. No sé si quedó claro. Podemos hacer otro ejemplo. Ok, aquí estoy haciendo una afirmación. Estoy, es una oración afirmativa. Estoy diciendo que mi hermana 
tiene dos perros. My sister has two dogs. Es una afirmación, es un hecho. Ella tiene dos perros. My sister has two dogs. My sister Estoy has hablando de two ella. Dogs. Estoy hablando de ella. <coughs> Tercera persona singular. Entonces el verbo have lo cambia a has. Porque es una oración afirmativa. Pero si yo hago una negación, yo digo, mi hermana no tiene dos perros. Entonces, my, my sister. Hacen. Hacen. Y uso el auxiliar de tercera persona. Hacen. Hacen. Y el verbo lo voy a dejar normal en su forma simple porque... Porque ya tengo el auxiliar. Tercera persona, entonces sería como redondar en lo mismo. Ya el auxiliar indica tercera persona. Ahora, si quiero hacer la pregunta, voy a utilizar el auxiliar primero. Siempre das porque voy a hablar de ella. El verbo lo voy a mantener en su forma simple. Does my sister have two dogs? Uh -huh. Oh, si fuera negativa la respuesta. Oración afirmativa, tercera persona. El verbo se va a cambiar, ¿verdad? Oración negativa utiliza auxiliar. Siempre que se utilice el auxiliar, el verbo se mantiene simple. ¿Ok? Pregunta también utiliza auxiliar, entonces mantengo el verbo simple. Uh -huh. I have a question. Yes. Can I change, change in the second paragraph? Doesn't for. Can you repeat the question? Can I change the doesn't for hasn't in the second paragraph? Mm, my sister has two toes. En esta? Yes. Mm, el has con el not se tiende a hacer eso cuando estamos en un tiempo perfecto. Uh, ok. Uh -huh. Sí se puede en los tiempos que son como presente perfecto. En eso sí. Porque el have es el auxiliar, entonces puedo hacer ese, ese cambio que usted me está mencionando. Ok. Thank you. Ok. ¿Es there another question? I have any question. Yes. I have a, a little question. Yes. And for, if possible to say, uh, the, the house have a two window? No, como siempre me estaría refiriendo a la casa, la casa tiene. The house has two windows. Yes, I know. Is possible to say no? No. The, me dice que si es posible decir the house have two windows. Yes. No. Porque el sujeto sigue siendo una cosa. Tercera persona singular. Una cosa. Pero si dijera casas, sí se podría decir have. Las casas. Serían plural. Aquí sí. Aquí sí, porque se cambia a plural, entonces ya no es singular. The houses have two windows. Aquí sí, porque ya no es singular, ya no es una cosa, sino que son dos o más. Las casas. Uh -huh. o, sea, o sea, que cuando se habla en, ter en tercera persona plural, eh, el verbo se mantiene en, en original. Exactamente, exactamente. 
A menos que sea singular, se hace el cambio. Tercera persona singular. Pero si es plural, aunque sean cosas, personas, no se hace el cambio. Any other question? ¿Alguna otra pregunta? Hagan las preguntas que se les ocurran, aunque digan, ay, no, es que me da pena. Así, para eso es la clase. No, I don't have questions. No more questions. Ok. No, me. Let's see. No, me. Let's this. Now, let us continue with the content of the platform. Ok. This is what you have here, the questions and the answers. As you can notice, we also use the auxiliary in our answers. Okay? Esto es lo que les acabo de explicar, simple present short answers. Si se fijan acá, seguimos el patrón. Auxiliar, sujeto, verbo, complemento y al final el signo de pregunta. Si nos referimos a una tercera persona singular, usamos das como auxiliar. Das, siempre sujeto, verbo, complemento, el signo de pregunta. Habiendo visto esto, I'll give you four or five minutes. Para que completen esta conversación en su cuaderno. Tienen que completar utilizando lo que acabamos de explicar. Por ejemplo, la primera está hecha para ustedes. Dice, es una pregunta. Como vemos que es pregunta acá, necesitábamos el auxiliar acá. Al ver que el sujeto es you, veo que el, el auxiliar que voy a utilizar es do. Okay. Do you, y luego el verbo live in an apartment. Ahora responde no, I, I don't. don't. No, I don't. Y hay un punto aquí. Significa que ahí me termina la respuesta corta. No, I don't. Ahora hago una oración afirmativa. ¿Qué puede ir aquí? I, I live. live. I live in a house. Excelente. Do you live in an apartment? No, I don't. I live in a house. Y así pueden ir haciéndola en su cuadernito. Les voy a dar unos tres minutos y luego revisamos. Es que mire, no me volvió a funcionar la babosa. No puedo. No puedo. Este. No puedo comunicarme. ¿Cuánto mes? ¿Esto mes?
Teacher. Yes. What's the meaning of flow? Flow. Uh, yes. Four. Yes. Is the number four, cuatro. Oh, gracias. Okay. I am finished. Okay. Oh, I finished. I finished or oh, I have finished. Mm, I have right. finished. Okay. Okay, maybe you want to volunteer for the first. Let's check your answers. This is done. Okay, the first one, Abigail. What is the next answer? Uh, no, I don't. I don't. I live in in no. my house. Okay, and next, Linda. Next, Abigail. Does 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 it does it allá? Excellent, yeah, that's the answer. Does it have a yard? Yes, it does. Yes, it does, excellent, that's the answer. Another volunteer, thank you so much, Abigail. Another volunteer? Alguien para que continue? Sería el de Linda? Okay. 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 A ver. Um, uh, ¿En cuál, maestra? ¿En cuál? Uh, estamos acá. Yes, it does. Okay. That sounds uh, nice. That's, uh, that's it. Increase. Increase. Linda. Acá, ¿dónde okay. está Linda? That, oh, that sí. sounds that nice. Sounds nice. Nice. Um, Sería, do, you, do you live do you live alone? Mm -hmm. Do you live alone? Excellent. That's it. Do you live alone? Thank you. Uh -huh. Another volunteer to continue. Okay, we have Roxana and then Carla. Roxana, what is next? No, I don't. I live with my family. Excellent. Carla? Carla, your microphone is off. Okay. Do you have? Do you have any brothers? Any Excellent. brothers or sister? That's the answer. Do you have any brothers or sister? That's it. Excellent. Uh, who else to continue? Yes, I do. I have four sisters. Excellent. Yes, I do. I have four sisters. Someone else to continue? Really? Does your house have many bedrooms? Excellent. Does your house have many bedrooms? Okay, very nice. Next. Yes, it does. It has a four. Excellent. It yes, it does. It has four. Excellent. Great. Um, Okay, someone else to continue? Mm -hmm. Who 
Do you have your own bedroom? Do you have your own bedroom? Excellent. And the last one? Yes, I do. I'm really lucky. Okay, excellent. Well done. You did an excellent job. Great. Yes, I do. I'm really lucky. Okay. Huh. You did an excellent job. Let us just practice pronunciation. Let's repeat. Do you live in an apartment? Do you, do you live in an apartment? apartment? No, I do don't. You I live in, in a apartment? house. No, no I, I don't. don't. I live in a, in a house. house. Does it have a yard? Does, does it have a yard? a yard? Yes, it does. Yes, yes it, does. it does. That sounds nice. Do you live alone? That, that sounds, sounds, sounds nice. nice. Do you live, alone? Do you live alone? alone? No, I don't. I live with my family. No, I, I don't. I don't. I live, I live with, with my, with family. my family. family. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Do you have, Do you have, have any, brothers, any, brothers, any brothers, or brothers or sisters? Yes, I do. I have four sisters. Yes, yes. I, I have four sisters. I have four sisters. Really? Really? Does your house have your many house bedrooms? Have really? Does, does your, house your house have house many, many bedrooms? Yes, it does. It has four. Yes, yes it, it does. does. It has it four. Does. Do you have your own bedroom? Do you have, have your, you have your own, own bedroom? bedroom? Yes, I do. I'm really lucky. Yes, yes, I, do. yes I do. I am no, really lucky. lucky. Okay, well done. You did a very nice job with this. Do you have any questions so far? No. No. Okay, so we can continue. Well, in the next part, we have furniture. Did you study this in the platform? No. No. Okay, this I'm is... Sure. Okay, here you have the complete picture. Let's listen and repeat. Um, let me see what is that. But I'm here. Okay, let's listen and repeat. Page 46, exercise 5. Word power. Furniture. Part A. Listen and practice. Repeat. Armchairs. Armchairs. Stoves. Armchairs. Curtains. Curtains. Pictures. Pictures. Bed. Table. Coffee table. Microwave oven. Microwave oven. Refrigerator. Refrigerator. Lamps. Lamps. Sofa. Sofa. Yes. Desk. Bookcase. Bookcase. Dresser. Dresser. Chairs. Mirror. Mirror. Rock. Rock. TV. TV. Cupboards. Cupboards. Okay. As you see, this is this is vocabulary about furniture. 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 Uh -huh. furniture. 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 Y dresser Furniture. significa como gavetero. Ajá, uh -huh. dresser es lo que conocemos dresser. como gavetero. Dresser. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y aquí hay una diferencia. Tenemos estos, son armchairs, los sillones chiquitos. Y el grande es el sofa. Oh, sofa. Sofa. Uh -huh. sofa. 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 Los individuales, esos son armchairs. 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 And this is sofa. Armchair. Okay. Any other question? Y lo de abajo no lo visualizo. Lo de abajo, veamos. Mirror. Ah, acá. Vamos a darle un poquito para verla más de cerca. Mm -hmm. Okay. So aquí tenemos. Rock. ¿Qué tiene como? Es, es sombra. 
Alfombra. Es una alfombra, pero más bien como un tapete, rock. Eh, porque la alfombra, la que rock. cubre todo el piso, esa se dice carpet. 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 Como que va a decir carpeta, sin nada. Carpet. 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 Esa es la alfombra completa, la que cubre todo el piso. Y así es una pequeña, es rock. 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 Y tenemos acá cupboards, que es como la alacena. Cupboards, cupboards. es donde guardamos los trastes. Cupboards. Uh -huh. cupboards. 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 Uh, dresser, dijimos, es un gavetero. Bookcase, desk. Bookcase. Mirror. Chair. Espejo. Chair. Uh -huh. Lens. Refrigerators. Microwave, microwave oven. oven. Eso es normalmente solo le dicen microwave and that's it. My, microwave. Bed, pictures, carton, stove, es la estufa, stove. Kitchen refers to the place. Okay. Um, do you have any question about the vocabulary? Solo falta aprenderlo. Hay que aprenderlo y practicarlo, ¿verdad? Yes. En, el, en el forum, en el discussion forum, después del video, ustedes pueden poner un pequeño párrafo. Ven el video, ven el vocabulario y pueden hacer una pequeña práctica. De hecho, la pueden hacer ahorita. Acá pueden hacer algo pequeño, hablar sobre su casa. Pueden hacer algo pequeño como decir, ¿cómo diríamos? Mi casa tiene dos cuartos. My house, My house has two bedrooms. Two bedrooms. My house has two bedrooms. My house has two bedrooms. ¿Un baño? My house has one bathroom. Mm, my house has one bathroom. bathroom. Kitchen. 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 Uh -huh. A micro. Con la I. A ma <ríe> micro. Me muero de hambre digitando. <ríe> microwave. A microwave. ¿Cómo decimos licuadora? A blender. Esto no estaba ahí, pero es extra. A blender. Una licuadora. Blender. Blender. A coffee maker, Ajá, una cafetera, coffee maker, coffee maker. And, um, y podemos okay. finalizar en a uh, stove. Uh -huh. Pueden practicar haciendo una descripción pequeña como esta, decir my house has two bedrooms, one bathroom, a kitchen. Uh, pueden incluso agregar negativas, decir, por ejemplo, no tiene garage. It doesn't have a garage. It doesn't have a garage. The kitchen has a microwave. It doesn't have a coffee maker. Así, pueden hacer oraciones afirmativas y negativas en el mismo párrafo. Pueden practicar primero escribirlo en un cuaderno. Uh, y después lo pueden hacer post ahí en, en el discussion forum. Any questions? I don't have any questions. Ok, vamos a ver cómo anda el ánimo speaking. Nos voy a poner un ratito a practicar en grupo para que hablen a algo así de su casa, así como lo que acabamos de hacer, un ejercicio corto. Ya se nos está acabando el tiempo, van a practicar un ratito speaking con sus compañeros. My house is, uh, is not very big. It has two bedrooms, one bathroom. It doesn't have garage. Um, in my bedroom, 
um, that is a lamp, y así, algo pequeño, okay? Okay. Oh, one in groups is just speaking. Here it is. Remember to click join or unirse. Bless you. Teacher. Yes. Uh, how do you say como? Como? Ah, como. Como de, de, de ser. De cómo está, cómo es. Mm, oh. Like. ¿Qué, ¿Qué quiere decir, Diego? Eh, ¿Cómo es el baño? ¿Cómo es el cuarto? ¿Cómo es la cocina? Ah, usted quiere preguntar. Uh -huh. mm, entonces es, what does, what does, por ejemplo, si le quiere decir cómo luce tu cuarto. How does your bedroom look like? Okay. What look. does your bedroom look like? What does, what does Para preguntarle your bedroom, cómo luce tu what cuarto. Does your like? What does your bedroom look like? O le puedes decir, puedes describirme tu cuarto. Can you describe your bedroom. Más fácil. Can you describe your bedroom? Can you describe the kitchen? Y así. Uh -huh. A volunteer to start. Can you describe your house, Diego? Uh, okay. Repeat, please. Pueden escribir su casa. Can you describe your house? Uh, it's my house is small. And it's a small. And I don't have. I don't have um, a big a big kitchen. Okay, it's a small I, kitchen. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And I and this house have this house is has verdad? Has uh -huh. has a uh, two bedrooms. Okay, the house has two bedrooms. Very good. And Continue. And uh, a one bathroom. One bathroom, okay, continue. And back, backyard. A backyard, very good. Continue, continue en los demás practicando. Voy a ver otro grupo. Thank you. Hola. Are you in your house? Yes. What do you do? I look for a job. Estoy buscando un trabajo, Levi. Algo. 
<risa> look, look for okay. significa como buscar algo que usted anda buscando, así. Y el otro que se llama search, es como buscar en el navegador. Eso es como investigación. Me acabó la batería y me salí del grupo. Hello. 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 I'm here. Está silenciado, teacher. <laughs> Se me olvida que siempre que hago secciones, el, el sistema me pone en silencio <risa> automáticamente. Gracias. Ok, con esto estamos casi a mitad de la sección 2. Hagan sus ejercicios. Recuerden, vean el discussion forum y hagan un párrafo pequeño en su cuaderno. Describan su casa y ponen el post por ahí. Okay. It's time to finish. Thank you for joining today's section. See you tomorrow. Okay. Okay, see you Thank tomorrow. You. You. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. See you last night. Bye-bye.